In your book here, The Doomsday Machine, you, you, you talk about um, how at the end of World War II, uh, when uh, Nazi Germany was defeated, um, that a lot of people in the government and in the armed forces, they wanted to uh, kind of uh, basically hype up the threat of the Soviet Union to justify uh, an independent air force and to justify uh, increased budgets for their uh, agencies and whatnot. So, uh, I mean, a, a question for you is, do you, do you see something similar happening now with, uh, with China? Are they uh, ramping up the threat of China for a new Cold War? What, what are your thoughts about that? Yes, in a word, uh, and, and Russia as well. Um, I can't see any reason for the Cold War that we've renewed with Russia, Cold War now, the demonization that they're our enemy, they're, people use the word enemy, rival, uh, adversary, and whatnot, in terms of interest, uh, comparing Russia, for example, to Hitler, Nazi Germany, when it comes to Crimea, which is you know, not just inflammatory, but you know, crazy. And uh, uh, what is the purpose of that? And I can't see any other purpose than to sell weapons uh, to our government and to the governments of, e of uh, Europe. Because I think the, the crucial main reason for expanding Europe, uh, sorry, expanding NATO into the border of Russia, to the border of Russia, Poland, Baltics, all the others, Hungary, than to sell them weapons to get them up, quote, to NATO standards. And enormously provocative, which uh, people like Kennan in his last days said the greatest mistake in American diplomacy, for instance, you can remember, uh, quite rightly, very dangerous, uh, warned against it by uh, Russian leaders. And uh, uh, I think just uh, as weapon salesmen, we are the preeminent weapon sales person in the world, Russia's second, and um, by a lot. So uh, uh, likewise, I think hard to buy, sell Trident submarines against Osama bin Laden, uh, you know, or uh, new ground-based strategic missiles against uh, terrorists and whatnot. No, you need a Russia or a China. And China, until very recently, was just the future uh, marketing point for us. It well, just wasn't building up. Now they are building up to a certain extent, still one-tenth of what we have in nuclear weapons. Um, and Trump, of course, was already saying, oh, we, then we can't ag make agreement with Russia until China comes in on it. China saying, are you kidding? You know, we have a minimum deterrent here, one tenth of what you have. Uh, you don't need to talk to us till you get down to our level, which we should, and which we should do unilaterally. By the way, uh, Robert uh, Moore, I, it, something you said earlier, Yes, they said, the, the JCS said we could get down from the 1550 weapons, which are in new start, to a thousand safely. Well, now that, and you, you said, quoting them, that it's for deterrence, we'd still have a deterrence. That change has, the fact, the idea that you can't get below a thousand has nothing to do with deterrence. Uh, it has to do with our current target system which is every major um, Russian, um, every significant Russian military target with the, with the Air Force regarding many of those military targets as being in cities. Uh, so it's not a no cities policy, it's command control, it's airfields, air bases, missiles, air defenses, transport and so forth, they're in cities. But it, that's for disarming. Well, what's the use of disarming when you can't disarm their submarines at sea? Answer, well, it's, it's no use in the actual war or in the destruction, but it, it makes a lot of difference to Northrop Grumman uh, and I should say Boeing and uh, Raytheon, General Dynamics and Lockheed, the big five. Um, makes all the difference there. It has nothing to do with deterring. Even the official rationale is limiting damage which it won't do. In other words, it, it has exactly the effect of building a lot of ABM, anti-ballistic missiles against, against uh, Russia. And by the way, Russia says, we're not going down any further as long as you have 
ABM in Romania and Poland and you know that area, anti-ballistic missiles, which can quickly be converted into Pershing twos. You can make them ground to ground missiles instead of ground to air, which is, is true. And they say, so as long as you have what amounts to Pershing two on our borders, we're not going down any further. Do they have to have that? No, but they have a military industrial complex just the way we do for money now. Used to be for bureaucratic power uh, under the communists. Same now, same models that they do. They make money out of it. And uh, they, ha they have to do it too. I think it is probably true that we have to go down together. Both sides have said to their people for so long, we can't be quote, inferior to the other. It's a total propaganda sales pitch, but hard to get out of people's heads. Fast. So I think we kind of got to go down together.